Oh, hello? It's the first time I'm actually recording a video, so it's probably going to be scuffed. Yeah. Uh, so with T4 release, there's been a lot of speculation about support ring lines and what they actually do. And if it's like worth prioritizing ally damage or AP when you're buying high mids, for example. And there hasn't really been any justification for that, really, that I've seen. Uh, so I made this sheet. The math could be wrong. Uh, but it does seem to be correct when I was testing in Trixie and stuff, but uh, just take it with a grain of salt, I guess. Uh, so anyway, the damage gain you see from the line is going to be completely dependent on your uptime as a support. So with this sheet, we can input some stats. This is your DPS's total AP, we just call it like 108k right now in T4, could be lower, higher, whatever. Uh, support base AP, mine is 101.854, my artist. Moonfall spec scaling is 35.82. And I have level 8s. For uptime, I'll use my gate 3 Thaymine uh, 2 man, which is my first arc passive read. And that's uh, 99, 94.4, 74, and 33. In terms of accessories, you should really only have 8 on your neck, uh, which is max brand. You should never sacrifice this for like meter gen if you're cheap. Uh, just buy a one liner, but max brand on your neck, you gotta have it. It's OP. It's like 0.8% uh, DPS per person uh, in your party. For rings, I have 2 high ally damage and 2 mid APs. Uh, can remove the neck because it should always be 8, right? So in that raid, I gained 2.55% damage per person in my party compared to T3 uh, with my uptime. If, and if we swap that around to high AP uh, mid ally, that's 2.43. So per person with my setup and my uptime, it's 0.12% better. But the thing is, uh, not everyone has my uptime, right? Because uh, I'm a beast, you know? So, average support, let's just call it, I don't know, 80, 30, 15 with my uh, accessories. They're literally gaining less damage from the high ally damage compared to the mid AP. Uh, like, it, it's literally less, and they're paying 200k more for the high ally damage, and there are two of them. But if they swap that around to high AP, uh, mid ally, they're getting a significantly larger amount of damage because their identity is so low. Now, if that goes up, it's going to be more worth for them. It's going to be more worth th for them to invest this gold into ally damage and possibly drop the AP. So, again, back to 30, 1.61 with high AP, mid ally, swap that around, 1.61 compared to 1.41, same amount of gold, more or less, but uh, you just gotta flip the accessories, because your identity up time sucks. Uh, if we go back to mine, I do think this T up time is pretty low, personally. It, once I get more familiar with like pressing it, I think it could it could go up to like 40, 45. And with that, we see even more gain from ally damage. Let's say my identity also goes up even more, even more. Uh, but yeah, let's say you suck at pressing identity and T. Like really bad, like you play Womb Shield, Buckshot, Sound Chalk, and you drop heals on burst windows. That's you. If you spend 200k or 400k on ally damage, mid AP, you are literally getting nothing, almost nothing, from the from the ally damage line. If you spend that same amount of gold, you're getting a lot more. Because somehow, you are awful, but you're really good at pressing AP. So. It's just completely uh, reliant on your uptime. So yeah. Uh, if you want to use this sheet, 
I'll put in the description. Could be wrong. If you get a math, let me know. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Goodbye.